We're gonna install Kali Linux in 2023. It's gonna be very simple. I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step exactly what to do. First, I just want you to go type in Kali Linux in Google, click on the first link. It's gonna take you right to Kali.org. You have an orange download button here. Click download. It's gonna take you to this page. You have a couple options. I want you to select virtual machines. Click that. What we're gonna do is we're select virtual box. So click virtual box. And then that's going to start your download for the Kali Linux machine. Then I want you to go to Google, type in Oracle virtual box. Click on the first link. You have a big button here, download virtual box. Click that. Now, if you're running a Windows machine, click on the Windows host button or link. If you're running a Mac machine, click on Mac OS. If you have a Linux machine, click Linux distributions. And if you're using Solaris, good for you. But you'd click on the Solaris links. Once you do that, it's gonna download that uh, file for virtual box. Then you're gonna get to your download folder Easy shortcut is Control plus J. Gets you into your uh, downloads folder. Here we have VirtualBox and Kali Linux, okay? And you're gonna copy these, okay? Copy these to a new folder, and I'm gonna name this new folder Kali Linux. So an easy way to do that is to click this button to go to the folder, okay? Once you go to the folder, Select these two, control click, and then drag those into your new folder called Kali Linux 2023. Now that you have your folder, you're gonna have two files there, one for VirtualBox and one for Kali Linux. Double click this, this is an application file, an exe file. If you have a Windows machine, it's gonna ask if you wanna make changes to that. It's gonna give you a wizard here. We're gonna click next, Keep this default, and you can choose your location. I'm gonna keep this in my program files. I'm gonna hit next. It says it's going to reset my network connection. That's okay. Go ahead and click yes. Now, obviously, I've installed this already. Otherwise, I won't be able to make this video and stream this for you guys, so that's fine. But once you click yes, it'll start doing the installation. So I'm gonna cancel out of that, and I'm gonna open up what I have for uh, my virtual machine. So I have Oracle VirtualBox already here, okay? So this is what it looks like. Now I already have a home lab built out here, but I can also install a new uh, Kali Linux machine here, no problem. Now one step with that, I have my Kali Linux file that I downloaded, okay? What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna right click this and I'm going to uh, unzip this. I'm using 7-zip, so I'm going to open that archive. Open that archive here. And I'm going to open it in this location and extract the files to that location. If you don't have 7-zip, very easy to get. Just Google 7-Zip, click on the first link, and you can download that for your type of operating system for Windows, and there's other options as well. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Machine, and we're going to uh, Add, then we're gonna go back to our Kali Linux machine. Kali Linux 2023, and here we should see this blue file, and this is gonna be our virtual machine definition. So we gotta click this and we're gonna hit open. And what that did there, that imported that right into our virtual machine, or our hypervisor right here. Now I can right click, okay, I can go to settings, 
I can name this. So I'm going to name this Cali Linux 2023. It's going to import as a Debian version or Debian distribution of Linux, which is a type of Linux distribution. We're going to leave that as is. I could choose the memory that I'm going to allocate to this machine. So this is virtual memory. This is like like RAM that you would stick in your computer. We can allocate how much of our computer resources we want to provide to this machine as it's running. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to up that RAM a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and up it to, uh, let's do 8 gigs. You can increase the number of cores in the processor. So I'm going to increase that to 4 cores. And that should be fine. That's plenty. We have video memory that's maxed out. It's only going to have one monitor. And what we're doing here is we're telling the virtual machine what resources from our computer that we want to use. I'm going to allow this to use our, our adapter here. But when you, you are, when you're using uh, Kali, you can also ex adapt uh, or connect like an external antenna. And we could do that later. But I'm going to go ahead and make those settings and hit OK to save them. And then all we have to do now is either click the green start button or we can double click on Kali Linux 2023. Now what this is going to do is this is going to start Kali Linux for the first time. Okay. This is what you see in the beginning. So we have to do a few steps to get this installed on our virtual machine. Now this is, according to the virtual machine, we're running this for the very first time. So from its perspective, if you want to think of it that way, not that it's not as, that it's advanced AI or anything, it's booting for the first time on a brand new piece of hardware. I'm going to close these uh, alerts. These are just saying that our mouse, our keyboard is getting captured whenever we click into the virtual machine. Okay, so when I click in, our mouse and keyboard get captured there and we can manipulate the mouse and keyboard within the virtual machine. Now the default username and password for the new versions of Kali Linux are going to be Kali and Kali. Okay, Kali for the username, Kali for the password. K-A-L-I. I click Kali and Kali and there I start my Kali Linux virtual machine. And as I resize the window, I can make this bigger, make it a little easier to see. And it's going to auto adjust to the size of my virtual machine here. So it's very helpful. OK, great. So now we have that set up. And from here, you can do whatever you like. You have your Kali menu right here. You have all of your penetration testing tools, your cybersecurity tools, uh, all of them come pre-installed. You don't have to do anything with that. Okay. This one right here, we said it was using our network adapter. Let's test that out and see if that's working. Uh, let's just go. So this is sharing my adapter from my, uh, my laptop here. It's basically using that as an Ethernet connection. If we go up to the connections, we'll see that this is showing we have an Ethernet connection, a wired connection. So to the virtual machine, to the Kali box, it thinks it has a wired connection. It's just using my wireless card on my laptop. So that's all that's happening there. So we can access the internet with this. If we want to start using some of these tools on the web, we can do that. And that sets, that sets us up. We have Kali Linux installed. And if you're interested in learning how to go uh, about making your own home lab with Windows Server Machines, Windows 10, Metasploitable, Kali Linux, some other devices, check out cybercrafttrain.com. Links in the description. We have a course on how to build a cybersecurity home lab. And yeah, this is a great way to install Kali Linux for your own personal use. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for joining in.